Hello, welcome to Ludic Science. As I promised before in the previous video of the two primary Tesla coil, finally the three primary version is here. This is a Slayer Exciter Tesla coil and as you may know the Slayer Exciter circuit was developed by G. Bluer. I give you the link in the description. This video is sponsored by GLC PCB. GLC PCB is a company that makes excellent quality PCBs at an unbeatable price. You can order boards online in minutes. After registration, upload your Gerber files, select the PCB properties, select the payment method and place your order. Best price and quality for all your PCB needs. Here we have the heart of the system, the secondary coil. And for that reason, you must be careful when making it. It is also the part that takes the most time because the rest of the circuit is really simple. The coil is made with magnet wire size 30AWG. The size of the magnet wire doesn't have to be 30 exactly. You can use a closer wire, for example from 28 to 32 AWG. Of course, if you use thicker wire, you will have a longer coil. And to the contrary, if you use thinner wire, your coil will be of less size. The coil has 1200 turns. You can make your coil work with from around 800 or 900 turns. And also you don't need to, to have many more turns. For example, if you make a coil with 2000 turns, it will not have much better performance. So 1200 turns is a good number. When making your coil, be careful to make the turns as tight and close to each other as possible. As you can see here I have some errors, there are a few gaps. You can live with this as long as you don't have too many of them. But you have to look for overlaps. Your turns must not overlap because that can make a short in the secondary. So be careful when winding the coil. It is convenient before you start winding that you solder a piece of thicker wire to the magnet wire because this will be connected to the rest of the circuit. My coil is made on a pipe of 35 centimeters in length and 5 centimeters in diameter. I used PVC tubing for my coil, but you can use any plastic tube or even a cardboard tube. However, you cannot use a tube that is made of a conducting material like iron or aluminum. That will not work. As I said before, the lower end of the secondary will be connected to the circuit and the upper end which is where we obtain the high voltage, I will connect it to this needle that I put in a plastic cap that I found in my trash bin. So it will be in this way. Here it is. We will obtain the high voltage output at the tip of the needle. For the three primary coils, I will use this wire, which is size 22AWG. And I'm using three different colors in order to facilitate the identification of each individual coil. This is how it looks installed on the secondary. There are four turns in total and I fixed it with transparent tape. Notice also the direction of winding. We start at the bottom. The three wires are joined together 
and you need to wind in the clockwise direction. The other three wires are separated and they go to the collectors of the transistors. I also added a piece of wood, glue it, so I can fix the whole thing to a wooden base. Here's the secondary installed on a base and let's now see how we make the circuit. Here's the circuit we need to build. It's a standard slider exciter circuit. Very simple as you can see. Only one resistor, 33 kilo ohms, one watt, two diodes UF4007 and one transistor tip 41C. This is the secondary and the primary coil. We need one circuit for each of the three primaries. So we need to make three of these. So in total, we will need two resistors, six diodes and three transistors. Additionally, we need a heat sink for the transistor because it does get hot. So we also need three heat sinks. My three circuits are ready. Everything is soldered. The resistor, the two diodes and the transistor. For this particular transistor, the pins are base, collector and emitter. Okay, our slide exciter Tesla coil is finished. Let's see the details of our setup. The three resistors are connected and they go to the negative, sorry, the positive of the supply. Also, from the positive, we have a connection to the three primaries. Also, the base of each transistor is interconnected and they go to the start of the secondary coil. And the positive of the diodes are also connected among them and they go to the negative of our supply voltage. Finally, you can see that each of the three primaries are connected to the collectors of each transistor. So, let's now connect our coil to see how it works. Let's try first with an input voltage of 15 volts. The coil is drawing a little above 700 milliamps and you can see the little spark at the top of the coil. And now I will try it at 32 volts which is the maximum of my power supply. Okay, that's all for today. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Thank you for your visit. If you want to help me, please visit my Patreon page. See you in the next one.